and we're gonna code some more the walls. I know I've been not putting up videos for some time. Now I am recording this way ahead. I'm talking about episode 7 to 10, I believe. Or 6 part 2 to 10. Anyway, those videos, are, um, I was struggling to find out the the order of the episodes. I just recorded them and the dates came up and I was... And they all said the same date. So I just had to check when they were made and done so hopefully it's the right order if not i will try to fix it but i found out that i've done some hot fixes episode 10 by the way is fixing everything that's not working uh we're right now we are at episode 11 or 12 i don't know uh i'm believing i believe this is 12 and uh, actually i remember we're gonna do something where's this color handler we're going to remove this code and we're going to change it with name tag edit. Because this uh, does not work with skins. The skins stopped working. So we won't be using uh, tag API. I tag. We won't be doing that. So name tag edit is just fine. It should work. Uh, we'll try to make it work. I've got another plugin running it. And it's a little weird because you have to reload for it to actually start working. For the players online but that's probably just my mistake anyway let's get into making um kits so i made a little example of how the structure will be uh instead of making a list of items we're gonna add enchantments names and lores so lore test line one test line two of some kit like that and we will add colors to this so we could just type okay you know what let's just type colors this is default in purple so we'll leave one untouched and with this one we'll make it bold like that uh, so we got the amount we got the item ID which is in this case diamond chest plate Oh, that, it shouldn't be a diamond, it's just play actually. Uh, Minecraft IDs. Now, we're using a few websites to help us here. I'm using Minecraft IDs. Uh, and you can just Google Minecraft IDs and it will come up. Uh, very convenient website. You can just type either the ID or the name. So, I'm going to type diamond. I'm going to take the sword, which is 276, and change this to 276, um, which is equal to diamond sword, for this example. The amount will be 1, because we don't want them to spawn an item stack of 4 swords stacked up in the same slot for players. That will sort of be annoying. Uh, name, uh, we'll make him... An, We'll make them able to put a name in, and if they don't want a name in, we'll just put it to none. So they will get... Uh, so it's going to check if uh, the name is equal to none. If it's not, then... Second, if, if it's not a, 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 a equal to none, and if it is equal to something else than none, it will uh, use that... Uh, set that display name. Else it will just use the item ID. Okay, so that's cool. Um, so we're just going to start coding that right now. We're just going to get that out of... Okay, actually, before that, I'm going to open a website for you. It's uh, on the it's the Java Docs for Spigot. I just searched enchant, uh, Spigot enchantments and Spigot materials for these. So here, you uh, what we're going to do is that we can get the ID, but I believe this is a less deprecated method of getting things. So these are all the enchantments you can get in Minecraft. At least in Spigot, but this is all the Minecraft ones. Uh, which Spigot adds, of course. Uh, so this is updated to 1.9, I believe. It doesn't matter. Uh, so we just type in this value, not enchantment dot, but this value. And we will get that value. So right now, we're just gonna go jump into the code. And where do we have that chest... Do we have a chest spawn? What should we do? Chest. Okay, so we. I'm just gonna go into chest handler. Which 
Um, we can type this manually, I believe. Well, we might want to just copy this part. So I'm going to give it the code for this. Uh, do we have a custom chest? I don't think we do have a custom chest. No. Because it's not automatically going to get the chest for that world. And fill them. And that's going to happen on game start. So while they... Yeah. So we're just going to make into handlers. Make a new class called chest. Gonna call it handler. Because there's uh, already another class called chest, so we don't want to mess up that. So like that, we're just gonna clear and fill all chests. That's gonna change the walls. And I might want to go into chest handler and survival games again and check. Add these and check what I use or not, and just delete what's unused. Uh, this is walls. Okay, so all this is used. Um, but where does that get the data? Can someone tell me where the data is used? Uh, oh. Now items to list. What does even that do? Add items to list. Uh, oh, we might want that method anyway. So just add that method. Just uh, copy the code I have. What did I do now? No. It's not supposed to like that. Okay, so I'm gonna e dot per dot print stack trace like that. We don't really mind. You can add the C logger uh, as I've already shown. No, I haven't shown that. Okay, anyway, wait, did, did I? Let's just check that quickly. How I checked it, CMD. Yes, we have. So we've gone into that. So you can just use that here as well. Uh, now, for the item stack contents, it gets string list. Okay, so we're going to have to change up a thing or two. So we're just going to remove this and go into our config and just check. So this is... Okay, so we're going to have to get a configuration section. Um then get the chests.contents like that and that's gonna dot get keys fools so that's gonna get all the what's the difference between set let's just change this to set can I loop through a set string content contents because so apparently I can. Now we're going to make a new configuration section. So we're going to do a configuration section um, item is equal to. Uh, I, this will be item ID. The hell someone just called me. My phone is on. Got sound. Configuration section item is equal to. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> data. No, this is not. Okay, so I just. Okay, so data. Dot get configuration section chests. Dot contents. Dot plus item ID. So that's going to get the, the section for that specific item ID. Uh, so like that, 
And now we're going to do a string. I'm just going to move this aside so I can see. Uh, we're going to make an int amount is equal to item dot get int amount because now we don't need to type the whole shit again. Uh, and then we can do name string name if uh, now we're gonna do if name it the equals ignore case none. Uh, so if it's not, because we don't want to do anything if it is, we're gonna make an item meta meta is equal to we have to make an item stack of G amount. Item stack stack is yeah, okay is is equal to new item stack material dot match dot get material for the uh, integer parse int item id comma amount that's going to get a new item stack for us now we're going to make an item meta and after this we're going to do the enchantments so we're going to do a list of string enchantments which is equal to um, Data dot get configuration section. No, hang on. We can get the item item dot get string list enchantments like that. That's gonna get the string list, and we have to turn. We're gonna make a list of of unsafe okay enchantment. Okay, we're going to have to make a hash map, actually, of uh, enchantment uh, integer and go to new hash map, like that. Uh, I like to put these in. I don't know why people sometimes do and sometimes don't. It's, it's really weird. And just to have that done so I don't remember, don't forget it. Um, but item meta, we're going to do is to get item meta. And then we are here going to do meta set display name name chat color dot translate alternate color codes and put that in just to fix the colors. I'm going to make a set lore um, item dot get string list lore. That's going to be quite easy to do. Uh, dot uh, replace all. Okay, so we're going to have to do. I don't know. Um, we cannot just do this, that will not let us do colors. Uh, we're going to do a list of string lore is equal to that. Now we're going to go for string s. Okay, no, no, actually, never mind. We're going to do that and then uh, new array list of string. These episodes are so long, it's scary. Uh, now we're going to loop through all those and do lore.add s uh, chat color dot translate chat color codes L s and then put that to lore. There we go, that, that fixed that. Uh, so that's that. Now we fix the name. No, actually, we shouldn't. We should move this. And 
never do I stuff set item made up later. Now this item mater needs to get moved out. So we can access it, access it, access it. And now we have to add uh, for enchantment, no, for string and item that gets string. Oh, damn it. Gets string list and enchantments like that, and now that's gonna get all the strings, and then we're gonna do a uh, string id is equal to s dot split comma. So let's just get the first one. And then we're gonna get the what's called amounts. I have no clue what that is actually called. And now we're gonna do ench dot put enchantment dot get by name id and am. Okay, so integer parse int shit. Okay, so like that. Um, we don't even need that now. That's just a waste of code. Now remember, just every time you see some code, you don't think you need like that line. Just remove it. It really helps. So deprecation. I'm aware of that deprecation. But items ID, item IDs are easier to use in this case. So that will add. Now in the end of here, we're gonna do items dot add is. That's gonna add all the items to the list. Now this will choose. Um, I'm gonna explain the. This will just fill the chests. I have no clue. Um, but this uh, will clear the chest inventory. It will set the low value, so the minimal amount of items in the chest to two, and the maximum to seven. Change these as you wish. It will make a new random, and then it will loop through. Uh, uh, Okay, we have that anyway, I don't know why, but we have. And it's gonna look through and just get a random item if it's equal to diamond. Oh, this is just, uh, yeah, this is just okay. So um, it's gonna also check that it doesn't add two of the same thing. So it's not gonna add two diamond swords, for example. Here you can see int rand is rand.next int. And if it inventory, if that inventory of the chest contains the item, uh, then it will continue. So it will just skip that and do the next one. And if that also is, and then it's going to get a new random basically all the way until it gets another item, usually just one time. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. We're not going to test this right now because of the length of the video, but I welcome you back to the next episode. That's how we uh, have done this config to work. So now just copy this for as many times you want. So that's easier than a string list with comma, 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 comma. That's essentials way of doing it, which is really shit. So this is the way we should do it. This is much easier. You can just add more and more settings down here if, if you wanted to. I don't know why and what settings you would put here, but you put the kit name. Maybe you can make some custom kits or something. I don't know. Looks cool, so yeah. Oh, this is how I'm gonna make my custom kits. Ah, interesting. All right, but yeah, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you see 
yourself and me in the next episode. I don't know what we'll do next episode. Oh yeah, we will probably maybe fix the colors. I'm not sure. If it arises as a problem, we will. If not, then we won't be doing it. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.